Hi everybody, as you can see we are live yet again. Um just fiddling with my chair, sorry, making sure I look as centered as I'm gonna get, I guess. I don't I don't know, I think I'm in the center. <laughs> as you can probably tell, one sec, let me get my thumb uh, somewhere over there. The well, getting down on the Easter egg collection. Down to the final sort of little box, that box on top of the what you can see the yellow mini eggs that's i've only got <laughs> nine little ones left because i bought a lot but then haven't really been eating them that quickly and honestly <laughs> i've been enjoying them more than i have really but yeah she works hard so she's entitled to a little something to help her keep going when she gets home which is fine i've gotten about not finished, but like 12, 13 hours into Tales of Berseria. Hopefully that's somewhat correct. If not, I'm sure Tengu or my best friend or somebody will correct me and tell me how to pronounce the latest Tales game. Not the one that's just been announced for mobile. I'm not going to play that. I don't have the greatest amount of faith in mobile games. Just too much microtransactions and boringness in them. Mm, there might be one or two good ones, I don't know, but on the whole, they haven't exactly wowed me, and I don't exactly know necessarily how to do get them on my phone. Does my eyebrow look kind of blurred? Like, there. Almost looks like I'm kind of blurred, doesn't it? Weird. Oh well. But so far, the game's been a lot better than the tales of Cess. Or whatever the hell it was also called. Astilia. Oh, whatever the hell the other one was that I'm pretty sure I mentioned a while ago. I, I don't remember too how long ago I tried playing it, but yeah, I got stuck on some enemy that turns you to stone. And I'm just not that, not that good at the games. Uh, and it wasn't the best game in the world, so just how, you know, how much you're struggling on a game and how good the game is go alongside each other. And if the game's not that good and you're really struggling, then what's the point in continuing? You're not having that much fun, right? Uh, and for the most part, games are about entertainment, about keeping you interested, about having a good time or making memories. So if you're not doing that, <laughs> why are you playing? I mean... At least that's my view on things. I'm sure other people have other views. That's why I like story-focused games and getting to know characters and stuff, because, well, I guess I'm not the best at making friends for a start. And there can be lots more, in lots of interesting characters and adventures to go on, and I like what people can come up with. I used to read a lot, but then with the teenage fiction fads, I guess, after stuff like Twilight came out, then it was just a lot of the same. Only a few held my interest. And a few of those have actually ended. The series is just finished, and it's like, well, that sucks. Some of them I can understand needed to finish. Other ones, I question at least, how why they finished so suddenly. I guess maybe the author just got tired and wanted to go on to something else, but <laughs> kind of sucks for the readers that supported them, thinking, you know, this could just keep going and keep being interesting. I really love the Skullduggery series, and the, uh, well, I'm, I call it the Gone series, because they were trapped in that, kids were trapped in that dome. Those two series were really awesome, but they both finished. Two of my favourite series that I'd been reading for a while so <laughs> not half as much to keep me interested now I haven't read much in age a while because like earlier this year I was reading a couple of books but then both the series that I've been it was like the next one's coming out in like May or something and I just haven't got back just got around to buying them and reading them I should I really really should it might have even been June but you know we're in July now so that's <laughs> kind of pointless point but I should just 
the main bookshop is in town and or one town over and I don't really go into town that much because I guess I'm not the best with crowds and obviously health not all, not being at its best which is why I'm able to upload a lot and play games a lot then yeah trouble getting up and getting out and about so, yeah, it's not necessarily easy getting to town. You can get the bus, obviously, because I've got a free bus pass for being disabled, but the nearest bus stop is a bit of a walk for me from where I live. It's not much once you're in town to the bookshop, but from here to the bookshop, to the bus stop, which is right next to the train station, so, you know, both of those. The easiest way would obviously be to get a taxi, but well, yeah, first of all, they aren't always cheap, and secondly, well, I get nervous talking to strangers and stuff, and sometimes it's not just it's just not easy. So yeah, Tales of Berseria so far has been really fun, much better than the previous Tales game, but, but a lot of reviews already have said that, so that's nothing new. Characters are much more fun and interesting look forward to seeing how the game's going to continue and hopefully I won't get stuck on this and I'll be able to complete it because I'd really like to so from what I've played really like to complete it and have some and see where the story goes I know it <clears throat> my one character well Zavid who's not in your team and this one that was in your team later in the other one and one of the other map teams you remember end up in the other game so it's loosely tied to tales of the other one that I played that wasn't that good so poor characters that end up in that one I've also well, I tried Valkyrie Revolution but sadly it wasn't the like really long continuous sort of cutscenes that bothered me it wasn't the bad well not great dialogue it wasn't the fact that the main character seems like a nincompoop like those, none of those helped it was the fact that the continuous cutscenes were constantly broken up by loaded screens the playing bits were constantly broken up by loading screens there was loading screens everywhere I know it's like a port or whatever of a Vita game but I've well, seen some Vita games and they didn't suck half that bad with loading screens anyway. Like they didn't make it any better for the PS4, they didn't work on loading screens, so now playing Tales of Berseria, which has basically got no loading screens on PS4. A lot, a lot happier with that. But just, it was like, sometimes it was literally about like, like a 10 second cutscene with like 15 second loading screens on either side of it sort of deal if you have seen Tales of Zoe with someone that doesn't cut out the loading screens I can't recommend the game the gameplay is fine but it's a lot of cutscenes and a lot of loading and it just wore on me so much that I had to give up and obviously go on Tales of Berseria which was going not cheap but less than full price on the PSN store and cheaper than Amazon was selling it for so I was like I got nothing better to play and it was you know colourful and nice art style so obviously it wasn't graphic intense or whatever so it wasn't the biggest download because I guess for all intensive purposes this town I live in isn't exactly in the middle of anywhere just off to the side somewhere and we don't seem to have the best of internet or anything although I know I probably can't complain because my friend's got it like 10 times worse he actually lives out in the countryside in a little village sheep area <laughs> it's all over the place but yeah even the towns here don't have, seem to have the best internet I'm pretty sure my, my internet may actually be worse than what they declared to like the lowest in the country and like villages in random places that have like much much better internet but 
maybe, I don't know, I can't remember. Maybe I'm just not got the best experience of <laughs> sometimes PlayStation can randomly fudge itself up while downloading stuff and just randomly stop being able to, or YouTube can just fudge up, but I mean, that's mostly what I use for uploading downloads. The console stores and the well, on YouTube to upload stuff, but I don't think I have <laughs> really in internet speakers. I'm just able to make do with what I've got, but if I had much worse, I probably wouldn't be able to. <laughs> so yeah, one game I've played, I think didn't finish, couldn't recommend, in Valkyrie Revolution. One game I can recommend, but I haven't finished, in Tales of Berseria, because I'm still playing it. Yeah, I said I'm like 11, 12, maybe even 13 hours in, and the game is like 30-something, I think, hours long story. So, obviously I've still got a bit to go, which is why I'm not holding back on doing this video till I finish, because that's going to be a while, if I do manage to finish it. I may even get another video up before <laughs> I finish it, I don't know if this, we'll see. But, to everyone who's watching this, thank you for your continued support on my channel, thank you to Tengu, Craigsmith TV. My best friend, who I don't know if I should name, because I don't know if he wants me to name him, so I won't. And to everyone else supporting this channel, helping me, I guess, get through this hard time health-wise. I'm not better, but I think things may... Well, I mean, this year's been pretty bad stomach pain-wise, so I'm probably still just getting worse, but... Oh, I've got an appointment on Wednesday that... I don't think, um, well, the job centre wants to see me, but I think there's been a mistake because I don't think I'm well enough to do probably whatever they're going to ask. But they want to see me. So, life's probably going to get a bit harder. Is it going to become impossible? Hopefully not. But, I mean, really, that's out of my hands now, isn't it? I won't lie. I've been losing a bit of sleep over it. I'm a bit panicky the last few days. And so if uploads do slow down in the future after Wednesday, it's probably because they've been asking they're asking a lot of me. And I'm not either not always home or just not always able to put up more well, even do the get to my computer and do the YouTube stuff, or I need the internet for other stuff. I guess maybe. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what they want. I don't know what they think they can make me do. The future is a scary thing. <sighs> Let's just hope we can all make it through it, right? I've also got hospital appointment beginning of August on the 7th for like a full body CT scan because they said my liver and now my spleen aren't good so you know <laughs> I've got damage in my back of my neck and, and in my lower spine don't know I'm, what the, what's causing the pain in my legs sensitive hearing due to weird illness years ago all that stuff, yeah, led to sort of me. I mean, I don't know if I had all these problems when I started YouTube in 2014, but I've got all these problems now. <laughs> and yeah, stomach's been, well, stomach area pains have been pretty bad this year. Cause, you know, well, been very painful, causing me to lose lots of sleep earlier in this year. I'm on three new medications just to keep the pain down. And even that's not working all the time. So, I don't know. This is some sort of online diary. And as I said, I don't know what they think I'm up to. But I have enough trouble getting through the days doing practically nothing.
I will not lie. It's tiring. Well, I'm always tired these days. I have been for years. I don't know why. Always tired. Always in pain. Just to make the best of it, I guess. Which sometimes means just watching shows on my PS3 <laughs> downstairs. Currently watching an American Horror Story. Wasn't sure what to make of it at first. The first season was okay, but the show was. The show's been interesting. And you have to worry about everyone surviving because. <laughs> not a boring show where everyone just survives and oh, there's a bunch of blah blah blah. It's not some sort of. I don't like soaps, I'll admit. In fact, I'm actually allergic to real soap in real life, so that probably doesn't help. <laughs> I don't know why. I just know I'm allergic to real soap and I'm allergic to ordinary plasters. Beats the hell out of me. Why? Also, avocado pears. I touched one and my hand just majorly swole up and became like all lumpy and swollen. That was weird. Three things I know I'm allergic to. I don't know if it's some sort of cleaning agent or something or what. That's beyond me. A lot of things that are wrong with me are beyond me. And a lot of things have never been, you know, I've been in that hospital for years. And they still don't know a lot of the stuff that seems to be wrong. But the pain ain't fake. And the pain ain't always bearable. <sighs> but yeah, so obviously I don't know how or when I'll get this version of next week's one up. Depending on what uh, what's being asked of me. <laughs> Hopefully everything will go well. Yeah, serious time. Things are changing, and I doubt for the better. If there is some work I can do, if there is some stuff I can actually go out there and do and manage, then I might be interested, but I just, you know, I just don't know that there is any of that. I think I'm going to stop here before I start springing to use some crap. Sorry. I guess I'm just being completely honest now. Video games are an escape. Reading is an escape. You know, an escape from the pain. Escape from the tiredness. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you next time. Bye.